Got a new 3D printer and no clue where to start? Don't worry, I've got your back. Today, we're diving into the exciting world of finding and downloading your very first 3D models. Let's make that printer earn its keep. My name is Jim, and this is The Edge of Tech. Welcome to The Edge of Tech Studios, proudly powered by STL Flix. That's right, in today's video, we're gonna go through finding your very first 3D models, tossing them into a slicer and shooting them out to your printer to print really cool stuff right in front of your eyes. So step one is actually going out and finding those models. Think of this like a treasure hunt, except for the treasure is endless cool stuff that you get to print right in front of your eyes. Now there are a bunch of really good sites out there to go find your very first models. And I'm gonna talk about some of my favorite ones here in this video. First up, there's the Thangs. Thangs is a gold mine of free models out there made by the community, and they actually scrub other sites. So when you go search in Thangs, you'll find models from a whole bunch of other sites as well. I can almost guarantee that if you search something, you're gonna find it, because Thangs just has so many models in their search engine. The other cool thing is you can actually go back and follow your favorite 3D artists and get exclusive models straight from Thangs as well. So definitely check out Thangs. Next, you want to check out Bamboo Labs Maker World. They have a ton of really great designs from 3D artists from all over the place, some that you'll still find on the other sites as well. But the cool thing about Bamboo Labs Maker World is that you can actually send them straight to your Bamboo Lab printers if you have one. I really like this feature and it makes things so much easier actually. But they have a ton of really cool stuff. They do really cool contests and giveaways and it's just a great repository for 3D models that you definitely want to follow. And last but not least is today's sponsor, STL Flex. It's like a candy shop for 3D printers. With over 30 new models released a week, a huge back catalog, and even the option for a commercial model so you can sell anything you print, STL Flex has you covered. Not only that, they have the STL Academy, where they have over 80 hours of tutorials from everything on learning how to 3D print, to modeling your own 3D prints, to selling them, and even being a better influencer. It's really a great resource for beginners, and to top it all off, you can set up a free, yes I said free, storefront and start making money tomorrow. There's a link in the description below if you wanna check out STL Flix. I'll also link the other two that I mentioned down there below so you can go straight to them right from this video. Thank you STL Flix for sponsoring this video. Now that was where we could go find the models. Now it's time to be on the hunt for your very first model. Here are some beginner friendly ideas. Try searching for easy things like, I don't know, keychains or coasters, maybe little figurines. Think. Simple designs equal fewer headaches for your very first prints. Maybe you need to fix something around the house. Search for tools or, or clips or cable organizers, pretty much anything you could think of, and you probably will find somebody that actually modeled it. There are a ton of really good real world use prints that you can get out today from your printer. And most of them are actually pretty easy to print too. Or if those two aren't up your alley, maybe just some fun stuff. I don't know, like a frog or flexi toys. There is so much out there you can get started with. But remember, keep it simple for your first prints. Learn that machine, learn how it works, and then grow from there. So remember, keep it simple and find a fun print. That's the best way to start. Simply just using your machine and learning and growing along the way. Now, before you hit that download button, let's check a few things out so you don't end up with the dreaded spaghetti monster on your build plate. Now, most printers will use STL files. So look for that format in somewhere on the page of that model and just make sure that you're downloading STL files. That is a very common format for 3D printing, but honestly, most 3D printing slicers accept a wide range of files now, so I really never have to worry about that anymore. Pretty much anything I download from most of these reputable sites works in the files, so that's pretty awesome. Something else you could do is check out what other people are saying. Look at the reviews, see if people are saying that it printed great or it didn't print or maybe you need supports, stuff like that. Maybe other people have made that model and posted pictures. I love to look at other people's pictures to kind of get an idea of how it's really gonna turn out. So once you've checked out maybe some of the reviews, some other people's pictures, or you just want to print it, hit that download button and let's keep moving. All right, I know some people out there are talking about 
how safe these files are. I mean, are they safe? You're downloading from sites and you're gonna use them on your computer. Now I do have to say that I think my belief is about 99.9% .9 of these files are safe. But if you wanna be completely safe on your side, go ahead and scan that file with your antivirus and just make sure. In most cases, you can right click the file and, and scan with antivirus or sometimes you'll have to go into your antivirus and tell it to scan like your downloads folder or something like that. But you can always do that if you feel that you want to be extra safe I'm gonna be honest I almost never do that I let my computer figure it out when it's downloading and I just hope that it's safe <laughs> quickly I want to jump in with a quick tip though if you're using something like uh, maker world and have a bamboo printer I talked about this a little bit earlier but you can actually go straight to maker world go to the model you like and open it straight in the slicer it gives you all the print settings and everything's pretty much ready to go for you uh, you can actually do that in STL Flix as well. You can actually open it into three different slicers right from each model. So all you have to do is click that button and open straight into your slicer. It just makes it so easy not to have to download that file and go find it later, but to just open it right into your slicer. This will save you time. And in most cases, like I said, it'll open up with the settings ready to go and you can just straight slice it and send that print right from there. This is seriously a great feature and I use it all of the time. So if you didn't just open it straight into your slicer and you downloaded the model, you wanna go into your downloads and unzip it. Most of the time these files come in a zip folder, just right click and choose extract or unzip and it'll pull the model out of that for you. And you can open your slicer, slice it and send it straight to the printer. The next video in this series goes over how to get started with the slicer, so you might have to check that video out if you don't know how to proceed. But basically, a slicer takes the model you just downloaded and creates a file that the 3D printer can understand and make your model. And that's it. Now you're ready to dive into the magical world of 3D printing. Now go find that first model, download it, and let your printer do its thing. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or even some more tips about finding your first models with 3D printing and also what kind of cool stuff that you plan for your 3D printer. Don't forget, if you like this video and you wanna see more videos on 3D printing, lasers, and CNC, hit that subscribe button or just simply give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you wanna see the next video in this series, check out this video right here.